Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. As per the latest report from Jeans, DRD is planning to prepare for series of user trials of Rudram-1 anti-radiation missile from Su-30 MKI of Indian Air Force. The missile has completed the developmental trials and preparations are underway for user trials which is expected to begin from the mid of year 2023. The last reported test of Rudram-1 was conducted on 9th October 2020. In November 2022, ANI has also reported that Indian Air Force has moved a proposal worth Rs 1400 crore to government for acquiring Rudram next generation anti-radiation missiles to search and destroy enemy radar locations. Rudram-1 is India's first indigenously developed anti-radiation missile that has a speed of Mach 2 and can be launched from an altitude of 500 meters to 15 km with maximum operational range of 200 km. The missile weighs close to 600 kg with a warhead of 60 kg. It uses pre-fragmented warhead with optical proximity fuse and is powered by a dual pulse solid rocket motor. The missile features dual seeker system comprising of passive homing head and millimeter wave active seeker. The primary guidance system of Rudanam-1 is onboard passive homing head which provides mid-course guidance. The homing head is capable of detecting a radio frequency emission from 100 km away. Its accuracy is further improved with the help of INS GPS navigation. The millimeter wave seeker is used for the end game or terminal phase guidance. The millimeter wave seeker will ensure that even though radar is turned off or moved away, it is located and destroyed. It also enables the missile to discriminate between an actual target and a decoy. The missile also features two-way data link and is capable of lock-on before launch and lock-on after launch modes. Su-30 MKI will be the primary platform for Rudram-1 and in future it will also be integrated with other fighter jets of Indian Air Force. The missile is expected to have circular error probability of 5 meters. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We will soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.